Hi, I'm Helen from eSpares. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the motor on this Vax multifunctional cleaner. I'm using the Vax 613 one, but the process will be very similar for all Vax models that look similar to this. Now please be aware, when you're replacing the motor, you'll need to remove the data sticker from the top of the handle. Now this invalidates your warranty. Before you remove the sticker, make sure you make a note of all the model and serial number information, because you may need this in future when ordering parts. Now safety first, always make sure you're unplugged from the mains before you start any work. And because this is a wet and dry cleaner, make sure that it's thoroughly dry before you start any work because you don't want any water getting into the electrics. Now I'm going to begin by removing the head of the cleaner as this is where the motor is housed. Now I first need to remove the handle cover which is held in place by two screws, one here and one under the data sticker here. I next need to remove the power cable, which is secured by a cable guard, which is held in place by two screws. So I'll just remove them. So with the cable guard removed, you can see that the cable is connected to the terminal blocks by these two wires. Now we always recommend that you take a photo of any wiring before you disconnect it, so that you can reconnect it in exactly the same way. Now I need to remove the handle and the motor cover from this part here, which is known as the cowl. Now it's held in place by two bolts either side of the handle. Before I remove them, I want to free the, both the switches from their position in the handle, so when I remove the handle, they will remain wired. So they're quite awkward to get out. If you use a flathead screwdriver and prise at the bottom and pull up with your fingers. Now I need to remove the motor exhaust cover, which is held in place by one screw here. Now I can remove the exhaust cover. I want to keep hold of this seal because the new motor doesn't come with one. If you do need to replace it, it is sold separately as a spare. Now before I disconnect these two wires, I again just want to take a couple of pictures. And then I just want to pull up by the spade clip. Don't pull by the wire as you might disconnect it from the clip. If they are a bit tricky, you can use a pair of needle nose pliers. Now I can separate this into two bits, the cowl from the motor base. It's held in place by three bolts. Now with the bolts removed, I can separate the cowl from the motor base. Now, it's still connected by this hose, so I can't remove it completely, but I can just put it to the side. Now I can just lift out the motor. I need to reuse this seal as the new motor doesn't include one. So I just pop it on and then pop the new motor in. Now I want to line it up the same as it was, and for me, that's the sticker pointing to my right. Then I just put the cowl back on and I can use the front here to line that up correctly and then all that remains is for me to put everything back together. And don't forget to put your old seal on the top of your new motor. There you go. That's how easy it is to replace the motor on a Vax multifunctional cleaner. Motors for all makes and models of vacuum cleaner are available on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.